um, to be honest with you, I think it starts with our attacking play. I think the more we attack, the less the defence has to defend. Um, you know, we've been very good going forward. Uh, but like you say, um, I think the last game in Seattle, I think it was very solid at the back. Um, we were under a lot of pressure in the second half and uh, we looked really strong and, uh, you know, we certainly gelled together. That Seattle game, what, what did it kind of say about where this team's at uh, despite, you know, a, a couple of injuries and guys being off for international play, you were able to go up there and get a point? Yeah, we've got a good squad. We know the quality in the squad, you know, guys not playing. That are ready to come in can certainly do a job, um, which makes competition really good for us. And you need that because it's a it's a long season. Does it help uh, you guys defensively having to come out here and defend uh, like Miguel and Tito during some of these practice sessions? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Obviously, um, like you mentioned, the forward guys are very, very good. Um, but no, I think the back line is very experienced. Um, you know, goalkeeper as well. Um, so. Yeah, it helps training with good players, but you know, uh, the bot lines have uh, been very good this season and, and for the start of the season, and, and that's going to continue. A couple guys mentioned during the international break, uh, the defense specifically kind of worked on getting the chemistry up. What, what specifically did you guys work on? I don't think it was any specifics. You know, like I said, the um, start of past training for us every day. You know, and it's it's not just the back four, it's the whole team. We're working on so many different things every day. Um, so I wouldn't put it down to specifics. Um, like you say, the back four have defended well, but the whole team defends well. We do everything as a unit. How's the ex expansion experience been for you, moving across the country from Seattle? Uh, the experiences and how's the adjustment been for you personally? No, it's been great. Um, this club is really set up. Uh, I've heard of stories when the teams have started and it's been a little bit of a nightmare but now it's, it, the transition's been really, really easy for me. Uh, as you can see, the, the new training ground's ready now and we've got all the facilities. Uh, the staff's great, um, the stadium's going to be ready so, you know, everything's there for this club to be successful. And how's the reception been, uh, talking to other players, just the excitement of the Atlanta uh, football community? How have you received that just being here for a few months now? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, you walk around different places in Atlanta and you see the jerseys everywhere. So, um, the, you know, the, the people there really, you know, started to embrace the, the soccer culture. And obviously you see the, you know, the atmosphere in the games. Um, you know, it's really electric and we're going to need that throughout the season. Like Seattle, Toronto is another team with a lot of weapons all across the board. What, what's the key to kind of slowing down their attack? Uh, again, um, you have to look at the quality. There's no doubt about that. We do work on that uh, throughout the week, but it's all about what we do. You know, we have to concentrate on our game. Um, you can't look at stopping individuals. Um, it doesn't work. You know, I obviously played against Toronto in the, the cup final and. You can't spend too much time on Javinko and players like that, you know, thinking about it. You have to play your own game and, and as a defender you've just got to do your job.